What if I told you your body has microscopic machines making energy constantly without you even noticing? This is the incredible process of chemiosmosis, the key to cellular energy production inside your mitochondria. Inside every one of your cells, there are tiny organelles called mitochondria, often called the powerhouses of the cell. Along the inner membrane of these mitochondria is a series of protein complexes known as the electron transport chain. As electrons move through this chain, they release energy. This energy is used to actively pump hydrogen ions, or protons, into the space between the two mitochondrial membranes, building a high concentration of protons on one side. This creates a powerful electrochemical gradient, also known as the proton motive force. Now comes the key moment. The high concentration of protons naturally wants to flow back into the center of the mitochondrion, where the concentration is lower. But they can only pass through one special enzyme called adenosine triphosphate synthase, or ATP synthase. As the protons flow through this enzyme, it begins to rotate, using that flow of protons to physically bond phosphate groups to ADP molecules. This mechanical motion generates adenosine triphosphate, the molecule your body uses for energy. Imagine a dam holding back a massive reservoir of water. That water represents potential energy. When the gates open, the water rushes down, spinning turbines that generate electricity. In your cells, the mitochondrial membrane is the dam, the protons are the water, and ATP synthase is the turbine. As protons rush through, just like water, they generate energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate. It is biological engineering at its finest. So whether you're walking, thinking, or just breathing, remember, millions of tiny molecular turbines are spinning right now, powering every heartbeat and every brainwave. That is chemi osmosis, the invisible force behind your life. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, or follow. See you next time on Snapshot Science.